Hello, welcome to Uncle Science World. Today we will learn the topic of photoperiodism. So, what is photoperiodism? Let us go to the basic definition of photoperiodism. So, it's a response of an organism to seasonal changes in daylight. We all know what's the meaning of response. Response means an answer or reaction to something, you know. And day length means a period period during which the Earth completes one rotation around its axis, which takes about 24 hours, right? So, it is the response of an organism to seasonal changes. Seasonal changes we all know the changes like summer, winter. These are these all are nothing but the season changes, right? Now we will look about photoperiodism in plants. So, photoperiodism in the is the response. So changes in daylight that enables plant to adapt to seasonal changes in the environment. So it means that in plants, photoperiodism is the response. We already have discussed the meaning of response. You know, it's the change, day length change that enables plant, plant uh, like money plant, cactus, any plant. You know, plant adapt to seasonal changes in the environment, like. After autumn, we see the leaves of some trees getting shed off, and after spring, the new flowers are blooming, and new leaves get into the tree. You know, these are all examples. Let us look at another definition of photoperiodism. The definition says that duration of daylight that influences plants and other organisms in their growth, reproduction. and maturation so this definition tells about that it is a duration of daylight that influences plant and other organism other organism say like we humans also are organism and uh, other microbes also you know it helps in growth reproduction and maturation basically basically it is seen in plants for example many of our summer blooming flowers and garden vegetables are long day plants such as asters cornflowers california poppies spinach and potatoes these are all nothing but examples of some plants of photoperiodism these all bloom when the days are long during our summer and some plant form flowers regardless of day length so today we have discussed about photoperiodism next day we will look on to another topic if you like the video please subscribe the channel and share it